Hello guys, good evening to the ones that are already here. Uh, welcome once again to another class. Probably uh, your classmates are going to get connected uh, in throughout the session, probably. It's already time for us to start, but first of all, I would like to know if every one of you can listen to me. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, good evening to the ones that are just connecting. Thank you very much for being there and for being part. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, well, probably in some parts of El Salvador it's raining, in some part or in some others, probably it's not. I understand that. I think that we are still in alert. So uh, at least in the place where I'm living at, it's raining. Probably in some parts of El Salvador, it will be the same thing. But we're still here. So thank you so much for your commitment in being here. And as usual, guys, before we start, I'm going to ask you a question regarding to the last topic that we saw. Yesterday, we saw general information about simple past, right? So what can you guys tell me about simple past? How do I identify simple past? How do I do that? Can someone tell me? How do I identify the simple past? Why, is there something that is going to tell me that I'm talking about a simple past? Good evening, teacher. Uh, Good evening. I am I am identify the verb in the simple past with is with this and in ed. With ending in dd, okay. And for example, if let's let's say someone asks you about a simple past, what are you going to say? If someone asks you, what's the simple past? In simple words, what can you tell me about simple past? In simple words. Or what did you understand about simple past? You forgot it already or you don't want to participate today? Hi, teacher, good evening. Hey, good evening, hey. Arabian. Please, can you repeat the question? Okay, the question was, how are you going to identify the simple past if someone asks you what's the simple past in some in, in simple words what would you say uh, are those verbs who which ends with in ed in the past form okay okay thank that's an opinion thank you very much other, other opinion is uh, the verbs change the right okay that's another opinion but you are focusing on verbs and my question is not focused on verbs my question is how will you say to someone in simple words what's the simple past do not focus on verbs what's the simple past in your own words what do you think it is that? Our actions that are already finished. Okay, actions that are already finished. Uh, does it mean that I cannot repeat an action? Can I repeat an action or I can't? No, that action has already finished. Has already finished. Okay, let me see, I got Okay, Daisy, it's okay. Nidia, I understand too, okay? So, um, all right. Today, guys, we're going to still be talking about simple past, but today we're going to focus on something, which are regular verbs, okay? So today we're going to focus on that and we are going to know the pronunciation that we have in with the regular verbs, of course, we are also going to understand some rules and uh, most importantly, the pronunciation of them, okay? Yesterday, we had a lot of problems with one verb, 
Caminar. How do we pronounce that? Walk. Okay, that was that was good. Let me see, Elmer. How do you pronounce camino in that case in past? Walked. Okay, that was good. Let me see, uh, Ingrid. How would you say that? Uh, walked. Ph and the finish. Okay. What about abro? Uh, tucked. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what what do you think, Carlos? Carlos Regalado, can you tell me the pronunciation of the verb hablo? Speak. Speak. Okay, okay. We have speak. We have speak. Uh huh. Noemi. Spoke. Spoke. Say it again. All right, we're going there. Okay, so today, guys, we are really, really going to be working on your pronunciation, okay? Because we have a lot of issues there, a lot. We still need to try to desenredarnos esa lengua, vea, que la tenemos ahí, pero bien enredada. So we're going to try to practice and practice and practice and practice because, you know, sometimes English is like, you know, a tongue twister, un trabalengua. So, so you have to roll your tongue and make some movements which we are not used to in Spanish. So, uh, let me see, catch, caught, how was he? Yeah, Mayra, that's, that's pretty much it about the verb catch. Yeah, you're right. So let's, let's, let's see what we have for today and let me share the screen with you so you can have any idea what about what I'm talking about. So just let me, okay, here we have. So as it says there, we're still going to be talking about a simple past, but today we're going to focus on regular verbs. As I said at the beginning, we're going to know some rules, spelling rules most of the time, and also pronunciation. Because you know, and, uh, and simple past, and specifically with regular verbs, we have three types of pronunciation. Pronunciation ending in T, pronunciation ending in D, and pronunciation ending in ED. So we're going to uh, go one by one so we can have some practices at the end, okay? So first of all, it's about to remember some of the things that we saw yesterday. And here we have once again, a brief explanation, it's pretty much the same that we saw yesterday about what is a simple past. So um, just a matter of you or, or just for you to remember what we said about a simple past, an action that already started and already finished in a specific time in the past. Sometime expressions that are going to help us to understand last month ago, yesterday and last year. So we saw that yesterday, so we're going to move on to the part which is going to be the main one today. So regular verbs are those who and, or which, I'm sorry, which and in ED. That's the easiest way we're going to identify them. All regular verbs will always end in ED, always. If it doesn't end in a letter, ED, that might be an irregular verb because regular verbs will always be in that way. So let me see. Um, can I have a volunteer to make this pronunciation? Me, teacher. Who is Eliud. Eliud. Okay, Eliud. Go ahead, Eliud. Simple, simple form. Uh, well, well, uh, okay. Es, study. Study it. Free. Uh -huh. Cry. Cry it. Lie. Lie it. Lie it. Okay. Iris. Let me see if you remember that, Iris. Walk. Walk it. Mm. Study. Study it. Okay. Cry. Cry it. Live. Live it. 
Okay, the pronunciation of the simple form of walk, it was perfect, it is perfect. But then when we move to the past tense, there was something there that you mispronounce, okay? So Elmer, would you like to help me too? Walk, walk at, study, study, mm -hmm. try, try, live, live. Okay, we still have an issue there. El sonidito que hacemos cuando pronunciamos walked en pasado es el sonido de la K primero, K, and then T, que es la letra T, K, T. So we do that. It's a little bit complicated. Yo entiendo que no estamos acostumbrados a esto y por eso es que nos cuesta. So we have to practice it a lot. So we say walked, walked. That's the way we have to say it. Juan Eduardo, do you have any question or would you like to participate too? Participate, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Walk, walk it. Okay. Study. I, I, will, I will stop you just for a little bit. Remember, we do not pronounce the letter L. We do not say walk. No, it's walk. Walk. No, walk. not the letter L. La, la, la letra L, no, please. Walk. Like that, exactly. Mm -hmm. Work, work it. Mm -hmm. Study, study. Mm -hmm. Cry, cry it. Mm -hmm. Live, live it. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, escucho por ahí que me siguen diciendo cry it. Cry it, it's not cry it, it's cried. Solo hacemos sonidito de la D al final, cried. No decimos live tampoco. We say lived, con D al final, lived. So that's the way we say it. So um, we're going to move on. And here we have the rule, guys. Please pay attention to these rules. If not, you might get confused later on. So here we have the first rule. It says infinity. What is an infinity? ¿A qué le llamamos infinity? What is that? Infinity, we call it to the pre uh, simple form or present form of the verb. A la forma presente o al, um, al verbo en su forma base, a eso le llamamos infinity, okay? So the, the main rule, it says that most of the verbs in, uh, with regular verbs, what we are going to do is only add the letter ed to form them. That's rule number one. But of course, there are some other rules which are going to be different. So we have to pay attention to that. Now, rule number two, it says, when we have the pattern, cuando tenemos el patrón, vowel plus Y, what do we do? We are going to only add ED at the end. See, if we see, Vowel plus Y. But what happened if before or after the letter, uh, before the letter Y, I'm sorry, I have a consonant. If before the letter Y, I have a consonant, I will have to change the letter Y for a letter I, and I will have to add ED. As you can see here, aquí la cambiamos. The letter Y for a letter I, and then we add ED. So we say study, studied, okay? Now, another one which is really, really important is that when we have the, the following pattern, vowel, consonant, we will have to double the last consonant and add ed, okay? You see, consonant, vowel, consonant. What's, what, we're, what are we going to do? Easy. If we follow a, or if a verb has the same pattern, what we're going to do is just to double the last letter and easily add ed. So stop, stopped. 
Okay. But, but it. Okay. Then, what about the stressing? Do you remember that in the in stressing and intonation, we have some differences. For some verbs, we stress the first syllable. From some others, we stress the second syllable or syllable number two. In this case, what it says a two syllable with stress on second syllable and ending with a single consonant, we are going to double the last consonant and we are going to add ed. So permit, permitted. I have two syllables here, permit. So two syllables. So commit, committed. Okay. So according to the rules that we have here, do you guys have any questions so far? Or does any one of you have uh, any doubt or something that would you like to ask? Or, uh, you know, any question that you might have? Or is, is there everything clear? Or let me know, please. Because if, no, if there's no questions, so I'm going to move on to the next part. Is there any questions so far? Teacher, mm -hmm. the pronunciation um, visit, visit, visited of what? Be, yeah, visited. Yeah, we're going to see the pronunciations later on, okay? But it's- And enjoy? Enjoyed. Enjoyed la, en the ID? With the letter D. Okay. Thank All you, right. teacher. So, um, based on their spelling rules, do you guys have any question right now based on the spelling rules or are the spelling rules? Okay. El yo tengo, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Eliud, eh, yes. En el caso, sí, Eliud. En el caso, ¿verdad? Si el verbo termina en una vocal corta, eh, que se sabe por el sonido, este, la vocal es una oración y una consonante, debe duplicar la última consonante. Por ejemplo, ahí donde duplicó la... la eh, el stop, stop it. ¿Cómo identificamos que para duplicar la letra? Oh, very easy. Fácil. Si tenemos el patrón consonante, vocal, consonante. Si yo tengo ese patrón al final, yo voy a identificar. Oh, ok. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Eso quiere decir que sigue el patrón. So, automáticamente yo duplico la última Consonante y agrego ed. Simple as that. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Elmer, do you have any question? Yes, teacher. I have a question. What's what's your question about? Yeah. Uh, me cuesta distinguir en el pasado cuando cada verbo, eh, digamos, los regulares. Mm -hmm. Yo he escuchado que en veces se terminan con t. En ocasiones eh, la terminación es con ed y mm -hmm. en veces solo con d. Entonces yes. eh, eh, se me dificulta esa, 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 esa parte. Ok, I, under, I understand. ¿Hay, alguna, hay, como, ¿Hay algún como tips o algo para poder este, yes, there, lograr there, identificar? There, yes, there, there are some rules that we are going to also see en... That's the next slide about. De eso se trata esta diapositiva. ¿Cómo identificar cuando yo voy a pronunciar it, t, or d? ¿Cómo? Very easy. As it says there, pronunciation of words ending in ed depends on the final consonant sound. There are three ways to pronounce ed. Most of the time, the verbs that end in the letter T and the letter D, we will always pronunciate them as id. Id. Listen, id. No es id, es id. So we say wanted, needed. No, needed. No, nothing like that. It's id. 
Okay, wanted, needed. So, every single time, cada vez que ustedes vean a un verbo que termina en te o de, la pronunciación del pasado de ese verbo va a ser it. That's the way we're going to identify them. So, in this case, the pronunciation of these verbs is voiced. ¿A qué le llamamos pronunciación voiced o sonido vocal? Eso es que cuando usted mueve sus cuerdas vocales, produce una vibración. That's why it says here, uses the vocal cords and they produce a vibration or human sound in the throat. ¿Qué podemos hacer para ver si lo estamos pronunciando correcto? Ponemos nuestros dedos en the throat, en la garganta, en cuanto wanted, wanted. Podemos sentir la vibration, la vibración in the vocal cords, en la cuerda bucales. So there we can understand or we podemos sentir, okay, lo estoy pronunciando bien. That's why we say those are voiced sounds. Yes, okay. Now, uh, for the pronunciation, it is bien fácil, ya que solo tenemos dos letras, two letters for that pronunciation. But for the other ones, we have even more. As you can see here, we have for the T sound, we have the letter P, the letter K, the letter SH, CH, G H T H S S C and X. So, helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. See, ¿Sí? ese sonidito de T al final es completamente necesario. Si usted no lo hace, ¿qué sucede? No es entendible que usted está hablando en pasado. ¿Qué pasa si yo digo help? Si yo digo help y no hago el sonidito de T al final, alguien me va a entender que yo estoy hablando en presente. So, but it's different if I say helped. You see? Help, helped. Even sounds different. In this case, this sound is voiceless, helped. ¿Por qué le llamamos sin sonido, voiceless? ¿Por qué le llamamos así? Porque no produce ningún, ninguna vibration. There is no vibration in your throat. So when you pronounce that, you feel nothing. Porque solo es aire que pasa por los dientes. Si a usted le vibra cuando pronuncia esas, esas palabras, es porque no lo está pronunciando bien. So how do you say helped? Helped. This is just, just air. Solo es aire que sacamos. Like, t, t, that's it. So, as you can see, for the sound of the letter T, there's a lot of letters, a lot of them, which are going to be necessary for us to kind of, you know, memorize them actually, to understand when do I have to pronounce ED, when do I have to pronounce T, or when do I have to pronounce D. So for the letter D, we have the letter L, the letter N, the letter R, the letter G, V, S, W, Y, Z. See? And this one is going to be a voiced sound. When we say voice, remember that your vocal cords are going to produce a vibration. So in that case, you know that you are pronounced that correctly. So we say called, cleaned, offered, Damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. You see, it's very, very important and mandatory for you to pronunciate 
those words correctly. So let me see. Um, Ana Noemi, can you give me a number from 1 to 25? Give me a number. Um, three. Which number? Three, teacher. Number three. Okay, let me see. One, two, three. William. Okay, William, make the pronunciation of these ones that we have here with the letter T. Let's go. Let me listen to you. Okay, hey, teacher. Good evening. Uh, all, all words. All of them. Okay. Helped. Okay. Looked. Watched. Uh, watched, loved, uh -huh. read, uh -huh. east, dant, fixed. Okay, we, we, we had some good verbs, some good pronunciation, some others were not. For example, this one. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos con esta SHCH? What's the difference? So, SH solo es aire. CH es ch, like that. So, we say wash. Watch. So, it's those son un poquito parecidos cuando lo pronunciamos. Tenemos que estar, we have to be really clear there. So, William, give me a number from 1 to 25. Uh, 10. 10. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Joaquin. Okay, Joaquin. Let me listen to your pronunciation too. The same verbs, the ones ending in the sound T. Let's go. Helped, mm -hmm. looked, mm -hmm. watched, watched, lunged, read, kissed, danced, and fixed. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, now give me a number from one to 27. Um, three. Three, okay. One, two, three. Melvin Jose. Hi, teacher. Okay, Melvin, go ahead. The same ones with the T sound. Help. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. Wash. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Ahí, ¿cómo sería? Love, love, sí. Laughed. Laughed. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Kiss. Dance. Fix it. Okay, thank you very much. Now, give me a number from 1 to 25, please. Two. Carlos Rivas. Okay, Carlos Rivas, go ahead, please, and help me with the pronunciation of... Okay. Go ahead. Okay, with ID, T or T? No, with the letter D as in D. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cold, mm -hmm. clean it, clean, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed. Enjoyed, amazed. Okay, that was actually a good pronunciation, Carlos. Thank you very much. That was thank you too. Actually, we just I just heard a little bit of problem with the verb cleaned. I just heard that, but the other ones were really nice pronounced. Okay, someone uh, as a volunteer, algún voluntario. Yo teacher, media. Nidia, go ahead, Nidia, help me with the T sound. Okay. Help. Look at. Wash it. Watch it. Watch it. Go. Breathe. Kiss it. Okay. Then. Fix it. Ok, Nidia, what I heard, lo que escuché fue sonido de letra T, escuché sonido de esto, Ed. So, escuché que decías, looked, watched, watched, 
I didn't listen to the T so we have to try to to try to work on that. Okay. Now, uh, Elba, I saw that your hand too. Would you like to participate? Hello, Elba. Okay. Would you like to participate or not? Okay, thank you very much. Guys, uh, my suggestion for you, una sugerencia para todos, por favor, si tienen unos cinco minutos o tres minutos durante el día, tratar de al menos practicar unos tres verbos. Why? We're having a lot of problems, guys. Sí, quiero que sean conscientes que ahí estamos fallando un poquito con los sonidos. Sí, so try to practice, please. So let me repeat it again. Lo voy a repetir and pay attention, you in your home, and try to make the pronunciation after me. Sí, trate de repetirlos después de mí so you can listen. So wanted. Needed, helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Now, called, cleaned, offered, damaged. Loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Okay, so yes. Can you ask? Can you ask? <laughs> can you uh, uh, send the picture and the voice and the group for? Uh, I'm, I'm not understanding what you're trying to say. En español. Eh, ¿Podría usted compartir esta imagen y tal vez un audio de voz al grupo para que podamos practicar? Yeah, sure, why not? Yes, but please, please try to remember me. Si traten de acordarme, because I have a lot of things to do and I forgot. Ok, yo creo que quizás oyéndolo a usted, tal vez podemos imitar el sonido de oyéndole okay. en el audio. Yeah, uh -huh. probably. I mean, I understand that we all learn in very different ways. Gracias, teacher. That's a fact. Okay. So, teacher, we have a big, yes. We have a question. Pregunta. Perdón yes. con la lámina anterior a la all que right, tenía. Okay. Anterior a esa. Oh, okay. Oh, gracias. ¿Por qué los primeros dos verbos son, mm -hmm. eh, o a qué se le llama infinito? Infinitive, infinitivo. Infinitivo le llamamos a los verbos en su forma base. Es decir, que no tienen ningún cambio. Los, los verbos en presente le podemos decir. Que cualquier verbo es infinitive. Cualquier. Mmm, infinitive le podemos, sí, le podemos llamar a cualquier verbo infinitive. Porque infinitivo se le llama también a aquellos verbos que tienen la preposición to al inicio. Como to visit, to love, to enjoy, to study, to stop. So, todo aquello que tenga to and esté en su forma base o, o en presente, le vamos a llamar infinity. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. So, we have a big list here. Y vamos a ver si es cierto que las reglas se nos quedaron. Probablemente no. Probably not. But we are going to try to do our best. Let me see. Um, todos van a participar. We are 27 on a call. So, Ana Noemi, how do we pronounce this verb? Looked. Lo que ya vimos. ¿Cómo lo pronunciarías? Uh, looked. No, this looked. one, the first one. Ah, the first one. Uh, el primero con A o con L, perdón. No, no, this one here. Can you oh, okay. The red? Okay. Look it. Okay. William. Uh, Livorio, how do we pronounce this one here?
William, we cannot listen. Okay. Teacher, uh, sería. Uh, colleagues. Or. Say it the way you think it is. Dilo de la manera en que tú piensas que es, even though it's not correct. Okay. Um, no. Uh, okay. Okay. Oleg. That's that's fine. It's it's okay. We're just practicing. Solo estamos practicando. Nidia. Nidia. Please make the pronunciation of, uh, let me see, this one. Uh, performance. Okay. Performance. Now, let me see, Elba, make the pronunciation of this one. Okay, Katia, let's go with this okay, one. Report. Elmer, let's go with this one. Mm, describe. Okay, Carlos Regalado. Let's go with this one. Uh, let me see. Uh, this one. Sería... Thick. Say it again. Thick. Okay. Thank you very much. Ingrid Jamilet, let's go with this verb. Um, pull it. Okay. Iris Rahina, let's go with this one. Carry it. Joaquin Ramirez, let's go with this one. Print. Okay. Mayra, let's go with this one. Uh, hate it. Okay. Vidal Mejia, this one. Really? Elba Carolina, no, Elba, you already participate. So, Gabriela, let's go with this one. Gabriela Eunice. Shop it. Okay. Eliud. This one right here. It's tired. Okay. Daisy Sarai. This one. Accepted. Carmen Guadalupe. This one. Pocket. Well, I did, I do, I saw that you're still a little bit sick. So we're going to move on with Andrea Mariel. Yes, teacher. This verb right here, this one. Mm, right. Okay. Alberto Enrique, this one. Owned. Emily Sofia, this one. Report. Arriving. Let's see this one. Jaunt. Okay. Now let's see Juan Eduardo. This one. David. Okay. Melvin Jose. This one. Uh, I it. Ana Mayora, let me see this one. First. Okay, Valentin Montesino, let's see this one. Rest. Okay. Uh, Rest. Okay. Carlos Rivas, what about this one? Pronounced. And Silvia de Ramos, 
Let me see this one. Silvia de Ramos, are you there? No. Oh, say it again. Say it again, please. No, no. Okay, thank you very much. Now, guys, is there anyone that, oh, Sonia Pinti. I see that you're there. Okay, Sonia, this one. Rent. Okay, now guys, I I completely understand. That's understandable that we just saw the rules that or that we just saw the letters that we are going to use for each one of the sounds. That's understandable. But la mayoría de los que dijeron esta parte de acá. Estaba bien fácil la pronunciación porque teníamos la letra T y la letra D. ¿Qué pronunciation am I going to do if I have those letters? It. Ed. Ed. So it's like ED. Ed. So, y algunos todavía me decían rent cuando no tenía nada que ver rent ahí porque era rented, ok? Now, some others, incluso acá también se equivocaron algunos. So guys, we have to be really careful and also, once again, tratar de memorizarnos las letras, ¿sí? Si termina en W, what's the sound that I'm going to do? Si termina en M, What's the sound that I'm going to do? ¿Sí? Meterse ustedes mismos a la cabeza. Preguntarse entre ustedes mismos como, ¿y si termina en M, qué sonido hago? Si termina en L, qué sonido hago? Ask yourselves, ¿ok? So I'm just going to read. Voy a, a, a leer eh, cinco de cada... Teacher, yes. I have a question. M is question? not on the list mm -hmm. of the rules. I'm sorry, what was that? M is not on the list uh, of the rules you gave us. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, that was just, I, it was just a saying. I was just saying in case you, you know, you you ask yourself, like, if there's M or, I don't know, or any other letter. It was just an example. But I have never seen in my life a verb ending in M. So that's, that's, that's why most of the time. Or that's the reason why the letter M is not there. Because those are just the endings or the letter endings of the majority of the verbs that we have in the English language. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to say five of them for each line. So asked, baked, brushed, cooked, racked, locked, Missed, mixed, packed, passed, agreed, allowed, answered, appeared, arrived, believed, burned, killed, listened, lived, loved, opened, planned. Play, performed, accepted, attended, arrested, collected, contacted, counted, decided, needed, painted, planted, printed, pretended, protected, provided, rented, and repeated. All right? So guys, with all the information and pronunciation that we have done, is there any question so far? Teacher, what I mean, the first and two verse, the second uh, line. Locked this one? Up. No, uh, um, the other. This one here? Yes. Lock is yes. like... The, like the locker, like the locker, the locker. como bloquear, como cerrar, lock. Okay. And look is the bear. Look. Uh, okay, thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so if there's no any other question, I'm going to move on to the last part, which is going to be pretty much the um, negatives, just uh, as a matter of reminder for so this yesterday. And remember, for negative statements, what we're going to do is just to use the auxiliary did not or didn't, the contracted form. As I told you yesterday, when we use those or that auxiliary, we have to put the verb in the base form or infinitive. Why? We have the example here. I went to work yesterday. I didn't go. As you can see here, we put the verb in the base form. So we cannot say, I didn't went. That will be grammatically incorrect. So we just have to remember that, okay? So that's uh, the last part. And now we're going to go to the practice, which is the speaking activity. How are we going to do that? So uh, you take turns. Cada uno va a tomar turnos en su, en su grupo. Y pueden leer hasta un punto, una persona, otro punto, otra persona, otro punto, otra persona, and so on, and so on, and so on, till everyone participates, hasta que todos participen. Please, guys, try to help each other. Traten de ayudarse los unos con los otros. Si alguno se sabe la pronunciación correcta de una cosa, dígala. Pero si no está seguro, mejor no la diga. Okay? So, but try to help each other. See, try to be organized to remember your classmates. And some of you yesterday were not participating and were not helping each other. So please take a screenshot of this part or I don't know a picture. So let me know when you're done so I can move on. Done. All right, so let me see. Nice to check. All right. Okay. And um, this activity, we're not going to do it due to the time. Lo vamos a hacer por el tiempo, but we will try to do that tomorrow as uh, that's going to be the first part that we're going to do. Esta es la primera parte que vamos a hacer el día de mañana when we come back to, uh, when we have the class, okay? We're going to try to start with that. So um, let me just create the workout rooms and I need everyone to go there. Please guys, try to remember that you have to speak in English. Try to speak in English as much as you can, okay? Please everyone join your groups and I will be checking any of you, well, all of you there. Nidia, are you having any problem? Oh, okay. So you have a situation over there. Okay, let me let me assign you to the group, okay? For a long walk, he found a dog. It was lost. It was a state dog. The other person. It washed its uh, I see. I can see. It washed its tail. 
It followed Matthew home. Fiona liked the dog and she gave it some food. It ate the food very quickly. On holiday to Spain. They okay. stayed in a small in a small cottage. Or cottage, they say. Ah, cottage. Cottage. Sorry. Yes. Okay. When they Matthew went for a long walk. Whoa, he walk, Fiona and Matthew buy the dog breakfast people a fee. He fee was um quinientos, no sé cómo se dice el el cero, se me olvidado. Eh, think is five hundred. She waited for the bus. What do you think? Probably is yes, Laura. Yes, and you write. She waited for the bus. She waited for the bus. Yes. The next day, invite. Invited. Uh huh. Invited. Invited. Invited okay. and the tree leave it. Leave it. Leave it with the D and the N and the four three like it. 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 Ah but here's the is the why it's question I think. With the end, the question marks, uh, you see that two words. Um, I am thinking, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you like it? Do you like it? Uh -huh, yes. Do you like it? Yes. And the five is. Share, uh, I, I want to share the screen and I I can't can you can you do that now? Can you try? Yes. Okay. Finish. Mother type. Okay. With them. Huh? Linda, stay in the cottage with them. Yes. Elmer. Elmer. You can share the screen right now, guys, if you want. I already activate the option for sharing the screen if you want. We try, but is just the organization. Or... Yeah, I gave you the permission already because one of your classmates told me that it was locked. Ah, okay, okay. Permission already, so you can start sharing the screen if you want to. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. 
Right. Can see my. Así que también tenemos que usar auxiliar. Did you, did your grandparents speak a uh, dance? No, dance uh, in base form. Did your grandfather's uh, parents dance at a party? Dance in base form. And um, the lights. She with double P stopped. The bus stopped at the traffic lights. Up. My mother didn't my water. Did not, my brother did not water the plant yesterday. You did not study for the deaths. Mm, it's en cual vamos me perdí en la uh, it was a girl though they gave her a name Hilda Hilda stayed in the cottage Oye. with them other six day later it's about time to go home the other back to England. Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. Oh, me perdí donde va. Donde dice Matthew takes her for a long walk every day and she sits in Fiona Okay, so we're just going to wait for everyone to go back to the main session. And I will ask some people randomly. So in this case, uh, I will give you some numbers and pay attention to your numbers so you don't, uh, you don't get confused, okay? So number one is going to be for Alberto Enrique. Number two is going to be for Ana Mayora. Number three is going to be for Ana Noemi. Number four is going to be for uh, Carlos Regalado. And number five is going to be for Carlos Rivas. Number six, we have it for Daisy Sarai. And number seven for Eribin. So let me see. And number eight, which is the last one, Eliud. Go ahead, guys, please. Let me listen to your answers. She waited for the bus. Say it again. Say it again, please. She waited for the bus. Waited. 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 Okay. She waited for the bus. For the bus. Okay, number two. Uh, they invited Mary and Tricia to the park. Thank you very much. Number three. I lived in Portugal one year ago. Uh, say that again. I lived in Portugal one year ago. 
Well, actually, that is not correct because we say I didn't. Okay. Didn't I, leave. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sí, es cierto, sí lo había escrito. Yeah, I didn't live in Portugal one year ago. One year ago. Okay, thank you very much. Number four. Who has number four? Carlos Regalado. Carlos. Okay. You like the field last night. Say it again, Carlos. Okay. First, the did, first thing did that you, you have to did notice. You, did you like the film last night? Okay, yes. Did you like the film last night? Thank you very much. Okay. Carlos, the other Carlos. Yes, we did not visit our friends on Monday. We did not visit our friends on Monday. Thank you very much. Number six. Yes. Uh, with your grandparents dancing at the party. Okay, remember that when we have a question, the verb, el verbo dance. se va a poner en su forma base porque tenemos el did. So we don't say dance. We say, did your grandparents dance at the party? So we okay. the base form. Thank you very much. Number seven. The bus stopped at the traffic light. Thank you very much, Arabin. Number eight, Eliud. My brother didn't water the plant yesterday. My brother didn't water the plants yesterday. Okay, that's going to be all for today, guys. Once again, please, guys, try to work in your pronunciation. Try to study the verbs and try to do your best. I understand that some of you work during the day. And I know that it's a little bit complicated. I know it's difficult to make some time for you to study. Because sometimes you don't have, you don't even have time for yourselves. That's understandable. But okay. yes. Don't forget to send in the picture in the group, please, and the <laughs> voice note. I, I will I will try not to forget it, okay? Thank you, teacher. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for attending to the class and see you guys tomorrow at the same time. Okay, have a good night. Good night, teacher. 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 Good night, teacher.